sketch the following surface and identify the axis to which the cylinder is parallel. So looking at this given equation here, we have z is equal to y squared. So the first thing that you want to note to yourself is, is there a variable missing? So we have z, we have y, and so we see that x is missing or is absent. So what does this tell us? Well, we can say that, therefore, x is going to assume all possible real numbers, and the graph is thus going to be a cylinder consisting of all lines parallel to the x-axis and passing through this curve in the yz plane. So we can say again that therefore x is some real number and the graph will be a cylinder in R3, so meaning there's only two variables in your equation, consisting of all the lines parallel to the x-axis and passing through the curve so here our curve is z is equal to y squared so this is a parabola in the yz plane So because, this is all because x is missing. So since x is missing, we know it takes on the values of all real numbers. And now the graph is going to be a, a cylinder in R3 consisting of all the lines parallel to the x-axis and passing through the curve z equals y squared, the parabola, in the yz plane. So we already know a great deal about this surface without even going ahead and sketching it yet. And we'll use this information now to help us in sketching the surface. But before we do that, it can be helpful to think about what is the two-dimensional sketch. So let's simply sketch this parabola in R2 to get us started. So here we go. We have the z-axis, and we have the y-axis in R2, so this is your yz plane. And again, our curve here is the parabola. z is equal to y squared. And we know that this, well, we know what a parabolic curve looks like. So there you have it. This is z is equal to y squared. So we'll now use this two-dimensional trace to help us visualize what's going on in three dimensions. So we want to take this trace and lift it into three dimensions or lift it into space. All right, so here we go. We've got the z-axis. We have the x-axis. And last but not least here is the y-axis. And now to begin, we simply want to start by sketching that two-dimensional curve. So here is our two-dimensional parabola. So this is our main curve. Z is equal to y squared. Now because we're in three dimensions, in order to visualize this surface, we want to incorporate a copy, a parallel copy of this curve on either side of it. So in this case, we'll have one, one such copy in the front. And we'll also want to go ahead and incorporate a similar copy in back of it. So there we go. So these are traces or copies of our curve to help us see the surface in three dimensions. Now, in order to again visualize the surface, we wanna draw all of the lines passing through this curve and parallel to the x-axis. So we can even start in this case with the x-axis 
to help us, to help guide us in our line sketching. So now to appreciate the surface, let's draw parallel lines on the outside. And you can draw as many lines here as your little heart desires until you start to appreciate what is this surface looking like. So if we look at this, we realize, hey, this kind of looks like a taco. Right? If it's a piece of paper, imagine folding it up along the long side. And you can visualize what this surface looks like. And again, keep in mind here, while I'm drawing a finite number of, of lines parallel to the x-axis, there are infinitely many lines here. So we should take a minute and shade some of this region in to remind us that this is a surface, a full surface. And of course, we want to shade on both sides. And there you have it. Here is our beautiful surface that's passing through this parabolic curve. Z is equal to Y squared and parallel to the X axis. And my final reminder here to you as we, as we end this example is that I'm drawing a finite region of this surface. Notice our little arrowheads on the top of the parabolic curves. This is indicating to us that the surface is still extending up infinitely. So just keep that in mind. This is just a small region of an infinite surface.